An another method for consciousness change is one that I believe that currently we really do have the ability to take uh, and, and put into full practice because we have a lot of control over what we put into our bodies as far as diet goes. The, to change our diet is something that is within our control and is something that we can uh, all work toward if, if we simply use our willpower to do so. Because we talked about all the poisons in the modern Western diet and all the unnecessary drugs that were uh, uh, att people attempt uh, in the medical profession and in the, the pharmaceutical profession to, to get us uh, dependent upon. The idea is to detach from these poison foods and really get focused on organic foods, organic farming, local food production for local populations because there's less stress on the, on the resources and on the land and less dependency on oil and trucking resources in from other areas. So organic food diet, whole foods, really nutritious foods get off of you know high amounts of sugar, high glycemic index foods, high carbohydrate levels, high sugar levels, um, just really uh, poisonous compounds in food, uh, get off of GMO foods, genetically modified foods, and on to just good, whole, organic foods. Um, and that you will really see a change in the consciousness. You'll see not only a change in the body, but you'll see a change in the clarity of, of your ability to focus your mind and to really uh, put your thoughts into manifestation. Uh, you really are what you eat. It, it actually is true and uh, the body reacts to what is put into it. So it's not just informing ourselves through, inwardly forming ourselves through the information we take in, it's also what we physically put into our body to use as fuel. And this, this drives the brain. The diet has to do with the health of the brain, most certainly. So this is one that we all can do and it's within our control if we use our willpower to, to change our diet for the better.